Welcome back everybody to Little Urban Apothecary's channel. Today we're going to be making just a small batch of coffee massage bars with co coffee beans in it. And um, I made this product uh, to help combat cellulite. So this bar with um, its essential oils and coffee beans and all the good uh, product, all natural, uh, will be great for helping you with, uh, you know, little bits of cellulite we might have on our belly or our butt or our legs or wherever you might need a extra touch. Uh, so what we are going to mix today is the following. So we're going to mix four tablespoons of mango butter and it's 100% pure and natural. We're going to add four tablespoons of organic cocoa butter. Um, I chose organic, you don't have to, but it's 100% uh, refined. It actually comes and looks exactly like this, and it smells like chocolate, so I'm trying not to eat it. So we're going to add four tablespoons of that, and then here we're going to add in four tablespoons of uh, organic coconut oil. In here, I have three quarters of a cup or 12 tablespoons of organic beeswax. So what it is, it's 100% pure natural, uh, it's triple filtered and it's cosmetic grade. So it's a great quality. And what I'll do is I'll share the links in my description uh, of this video. And if you're interested in purchasing, thank you very much. You'll be helping uh, supporting my business. So. Um, and here, you can, can't see, but I actually have approximately 80 drops of essential oil here. And what I've chosen to add for this one is grapefruit essential oil. Grapefruit is excellent at trying to break down uh, cellulite composites, uh, as well as juniper berry. It has the same properties. And then I added a geranium essential oil. Uh, just for that kind of added fun smell. So once again, it is 40 drops of grapefruit essential oil, 20 drops of juniper, and 20 drops of geranium. But you can do your own combination with this if you want to make it a fun citrus one. Uh, you know, add your lemons and your limes and all that good stuff. Okay, and then, of course, can't forget the lovely coffee beans. So these are whole coffee beans. They smell yummy. What I'm going to do with this is take one tablespoon of each coffee bean and we're going to put it in the bottoms of our molds. And these are our molds we're using. So we should get approximately four uh, really nice size massage bean bars from what we make today. So next what I want you to do is make yourself a little water bath. So what I've gone and done is got uh, probably three quarters full. And I'm going to add in, uh, start adding in the ingredients and I'm going to put it on my stove. And I'm gonna kind of crank the heat up to start, but once my ingredients start to melt, uh, we'll lower it down and then they'll be ready for their mold. So, so once again, we have our beeswax. You can choose white or yellow, it's whatever your preference is. We have our four cups of mango butter. And get all this, scrape it all out. We don't want to waste any product and kind of mix it in there. Then we're going to add in our four tablespoons of that wonderful cocoa butter. Sorry, four tablespoons. And then four tablespoons of coconut oil. It's a delicious, wonderful, moisturizing treatment this would be for your skin. And, and if you don't want to use it for a massage bar, like I tell a lot of my clients that purchase this, just simply use it just as a simple massage bar to feel good with all the little massage um, bean pieces and it'll just kind of give you that little extra tingle. Um, yeah, it'll feel great. So, you know, jumping in the shower after you dry off. Uh, just take it in with the heat of your body, the massage bar will start to melt. So I've got almost all the butters, oils, and beeswax all mixed together here. So it's about, it takes about 7 to 10 minutes 
to get everything melted completely. And it, of course it takes the beeswax a little longer to do so. So while that's waiting, we're going to take and put in one tablespoon of these wonderful smelling coffee beans. And you can put a little bit more in if you want. You don't have to be stingy. We're gonna put one in each of our molds and kind of make sure they're kind of spread around there. And it's any kind of coffee bean, they're whole, and some of them are halves, but they'll do perfectly the good trick. And I don't know if you know this, but but I always do at my uh, markets and vendor events. Um, I always have a little jar of coffee beans on hand, so when people are smelling my product uh, or they're smelling different essential oils that I have, um, they sniff the coffee beans to clear out, um, kind of clear their palate, kind of similar to if you were eating parsley after dinner and you wanted to try a taste of something different. So the coffee beans does the same thing for our nose. And it just clears it out and, and gives us the ability to start smelling from start fresh again essential oils and products. So, so I've added in a tablespoon in each mold and these are lovely little molds. And I'll share a link if you're interested in these ones. They come in a little pack of four, they're all attached and I just prefer to cut them up because it's easier for me to work with them. And once again, I have my essential oil here. give this another st couple little stirs then I'm going to remove it from the heat I'm going to add in the essential oils and then you're going to see that I'm pouring it in the molds so that's good so let's turn our heat off and be very careful you're around hot stuff so this hot pot out of the way. There. So once again, let's add in our essential oil. And once again, it's 40 drops of grapefruit in here, 20 drop, drops of juniper berry, and 20 drops of geranium essential oil. So just going to give it a little smell. But I'm telling you, this smells like a chocolate Easter bunny. So anybody that loves chocolate will definitely love this massage bar. Now it smells really nice. So I'm going to do a slow pour. And then once those are done, I'm going to put them in uh, in the refrigerator for about an hour to kind of speed process the cooling process. Okay, we'll start with this back one. And I'm gonna pour really slow. Go as far to the top as you can. And you're going to see a few little scragglers of beans will want to float to the top and not stay to the bottom, which is great too. And then you've got a little bit of beans on both sides of your bar. And this is great because I have enough left. So I've made three nice sized bars, but I have enough oil here to add to my beans that it will actually turn out to be a little sample bar for my clients that they can smell, touch, see how it feels, all that good stuff. Okay. I'm just going to move the beans a little bit around, kind of put them where I need them to be. I like that one and this one. So now I'm going to put them in the fridge and this is what it's going to look like, the finished product. I don't know if you can see that. I put these cute little, I made them off of Vistaprint, these cute little labels. Hopefully you can see those, what they look like. And here's my finished product and I have it all shrink wrapped. There we go. All shrink wrapped and it's in a cute little, cute little shrink wrap bag and I have my signature paper ribbon on there. 
So I always do a paper ribbon on my products. If it doesn't have a paper ribbon, then it's probably not mine. So uh, this product, uh, if you wish, is available for purchase on my Facebook page, of course, uh, which is Little Urban Apothecary. And you can go on and see this lovely product for sale. Uh, alternatively, I'm also on Amazon Canada and the US, and all you simply need to do in your subject line is type in Little Urban Apothecary, and this should pick up all the products that I have available for sale on Amazon. As well, I'm on Etsy, and on my Etsy shop, I'm called Little Urban Shop, and you can purchase that product there as well. Okay, so once again, thank you very much, and uh, appreciate you liking my video and subscribing. Um, and stay tuned uh, for my next video, which will be making men's beard bombs with essential oil and all natural ingredients. So that is going to be fun. Take care and thank you for watching.